I get bored if I'm just painting, if I'm out and I'm just painting exactly what's in front of me, because then it's like, you know, I think there's a quote that we're not reporters, we're poets, you know, like, so we're not, we don't have to report exactly what's in front of us. You know, I think we need to learn how to paint it as it is first, which is, was critical to my journey in finding this balance is that I think if you're going to change things up and add things in that aren't really there, you should at least know how to paint it the way it is seen first. So I did spend some time um, just learning how to paint right what was in front of me what not what I thought I knew but what I actually saw and that was through plein air of course and at this point I think it's just so much fun for me to just kind of imagine what something might look like in my, in my head I create I can create whatever I want like we're the artists we have a you know artistic license and so I just love that I feel like I feel comfortable at this point to do that without crossing that line into fantasy. So I can actually bring these elements in that may or may not be there, you know, at least move things around, change some lighting situations, do different things to my paintings and experiment. And no one is calling them fantasy anymore. So that, that was a big deal for me. And it took a long time to get there. And, and of course, you can go too far with it and make something that just doesn't work because it's just, there's no semblance of reality to it. Um, but that is kind of where I ended up here. And so I think there was a quote somewhere, and I, and I honestly can't remember who said it, but there was, it was kind of like the ingredients in a successful landscape painting. And for, I, I'm going to just kind of paraphrase. It's, it has like a little bit of mystery, a little bit of magic, um, and I can't think of the other one. So, um, but for me, that's, that's pretty much what I, I'm always trying to convey for me, a successful painting has some of those elements in them, but it does remain true to the scene. So I still kind of, you know, take my original source material, which can be plein air studies, uh, some pho photographs, definitely I, you know, memories and just all weave that all together and come up with something that I can put my own stamp on of with my style.